folks and a very big welcome back. Now today we are going to be discussing something which I consider of paramount importance and that is the pervasive influence of chemicals in our modern world and uh, quite frankly we're living in a world where chemical levels are at an unprecedented level. In fact just since uh, World War II there have been over 70,000 new man-made chemicals and these chemicals are ubiquitous. They exist in our water, um, they have contaminated food, um, they are in our environment and also in many of the products that we use um, on our pets and um, on ourselves and in our homes. And um, so it really is up to us to become informed and uh, to make wise decisions when purchasing products, when purchasing foods, to ensure that we minimize um, and where possible eliminate uh, the exposure to these uh, often really harmful chemicals. Now, it is true that these uh, chemicals are often subjected to a test um, and this test is referred to as GRASS or generally regarded as safe. But what you need to realize is that by no manner of means does this suggest that these chemicals are safe in the long term. All this um, grass test says to us is that you or your pet won't drop down dead um, within hours or days of, uh, of being exposed to this toxin. It says nothing of the chronic accumulative effect on the body and the influence it will have on various organ systems over months and years. And uh, in fact, um, it has been shown that less than 2% of these chemicals have in, indeed been subjected to the extent of testing that is required. And so again, it is up to us to become informed in the modern times and to actually um, choose with our wallet um, and, uh, and choose wisely. Now, when these chemicals accumulate uh, in our pets' bodies and incidentally in our own bodies, over time it leads to chronic skin conditions, it leads to chronic gastrointestinal problems and a whole host of chronic degenerative diseases including cancer. So it's of massive importance and um, so I really look forward to sharing with you over the weeks ahead where these chemicals um, have an influence, what the sources are in the environment, in your pet's food, etc. and how you can mitigate this effect, how you can eliminate where possible and uh, at the very least minimize to, to a level that is safe. So with that in mind, uh, please stay tuned for uh, what we have ahead of you. I think you will find it um, um, incredibly interesting and we trust very helpful um, to ensure that uh, this will enhance your pet's health and vibrancy and, uh, and uh, in doing so enhance their longevity. So until the next episode, stay tuned. I'm Dr. Janie. Catch you soon.